Now, the Wabash Valley's most accurate and reliable newscast continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist Lindsay Monroe. Well, good morning, everyone. Clouds and radar showing you that we are waking up to a mostly clear sky for now, but here's a warm front that's developing back to our west. This warm front is going to be what's responsible for our weekend weather. It's going to bring in some warmer temperatures as well as some rain and storm chances. So as you head out the door this morning, keep in mind it is a very cool start to the day. Temperatures are back into the 50s across the board. Rain showers are developing now off to our northwest across portions of Iowa. That's that's also associated with this warm front here. And then as it makes its way closer to the valley, we are looking at that increased chance to see some rain showers as we head through the day. So let's start future cast at 7 o'clock this morning. Again, we will be mostly clear. I am seeing some areas of some patchy fog as well. Visibility was down to about a mile and a half here in Terre Haute last hour. Keep in mind you could run into some of those foggy spots. But again, the main story this morning is just going to be those very cool temperatures. We'll rebound back to about 80 as we head through this afternoon but you'll also notice more clouds filtering in. While it will be a mostly clear start to the day, cloud cover really starts to take over as we head through about the 1 o'clock hour, and then those rain showers slowly look to approach. Don't cancel any plans for tonight, though. It doesn't look like it's going to be an evening washout. In fact, we're only calling for about a 20% chance of a spotty shower or two as we head through the evening tonight. Again, rain really not going to be much of a factor until we head into Saturday. So as we go through your afternoon, again, increasing that cloud cover as we head through the day. Still looking at some sunshine at 1 p.m. Eventually becoming partly cloudy as temperatures rebound back to about 79 at 4. Today's daytime high will reach near 80 degrees, so a little bit warmer than yesterday. We topped out near 77. All those numbers well below where we should be for this time of year. We'll fall back near 72 as temperatures take a downward trend as we head through the evening tonight. But it's as we look ahead at Saturday, the warm front pushes by, and that's really going to increase those rain chances. If you have plans on Saturday, definitely want to pay attention to what I'm about to show you here. Here's 7 a.m. Again, a few spotty showers will be around. Nothing too organized during the morning. That's the initial passage of that warm front. We'll get in on some dry hours for your Saturday afternoon. Afternoon. Here's 11 o'clock as we start to head into the afternoon hours, but by about 3 p.m. That's when we look for more showers to start redeveloping, and then they do look to take over as we head through about 5 o'clock and then going through the remainder of the day on Saturday. We could see some stronger storms moving through, especially later in the day on Saturday and as we head through the overnight, putting us into Sunday. Again, the stronger storms will be possible. The main timing on that Saturday night through Sunday morning as we head through about Sunday afternoon here. 5 p.m. We really start to clear those skies out and those rain chances do exit. We'll get on some cooler temperatures as we look ahead at Monday. So as far as the severe storm potential potential today, it's non existent. We're good today. Again, just a small chance of a spotty shower. But as we look ahead at the uh, day tomorrow and as we head into Saturday night into Sunday, that's when that severe storm potential really looks to increase. Here's your severe storm risk for the day on Saturday. Again, main timing of that Saturday evening evening through early Sunday morning. And as that front shifts to the east, this is Sunday's severe risk. Even portions of our Indiana County still will be included in that. So, of course, something that will keep our storm team busy as we head through the weekend. And, of course, we'll be here to keep you posted. For today, a pretty quiet day, though. We'll rebound to 80 this afternoon as clouds really build in. A tad warmer as winds shift out of the south. Through the overnight tonight, skies continue to become more cloudy and even a chance for a few overnight showers possible, although that does look to be rather minimal. 65 degrees, your overnight low, and then for tomorrow, rain showers in the morning, a few dry hours in the afternoon before showers and storms redevelop in the evening. Temperatures really warming back up. We'll get back near 88 for your Saturday afternoon, staying rather warm and rainy through the day on Sunday as well, near 87. And once that rain moves out, the cooler air moves right back in as we kick off next week with highs back into the 70s.